Hi everyone, uh, Richard here with another tutorial on curriculum mapping with G Suite. Uh, in this video I'd like to demonstrate a, a concept that is really important to this process and that is the idea of combining two Google Sheets into one Google Sheet uh, to essentially make this awesome table. So everything from units to last updated on comes from the file cabinet view spreadsheet, okay? Everything from subject area to grade level comes from the autocrat Google Sheet. Okay, these are merged into one sheet to display as an awesome table. And they're brought over via an array formula. So if we look at the file cabinet, and we go over to where we see subject area, grade level, start and end, right? These are all being imported from this sheet, which is an import range of that uh, template request form. So I know that's a mouthful, um, but here's why this is important. So say, for example, you need to be able to change the start and end dates, okay? Autocrat by itself does not give you a way to go back to edit the original form. So you can use a Google Apps script, looks just like this, to automatically populate a column of your choice with the edit response URL. So what that means is is if I need to change a value, whether it be the start or the end date, or even the name of the course, so on and so forth, I can create a URL automatically on form submit that will bring me back to that original request. So in the context of creaking the mapping, this is really helpful when you want to empower teachers to be able to change the start and end dates of their unit. So you'll notice that on my file cabinet view, um, I have a, a column X. So this hasn't been documented anywhere else in the community. So I'm going to explain how you can accommodate the edit response URL in your own mapping platform. So what you need to do is go into the script editor of the file cabinet view. So tools, script editor, it opens up the file cabinet script. And again, all this is coming from uh, the guys and gals at Awesome Tables. Um, I've only adapted their scripts uh, for this purpose, um, just to make sure proper attribution is given. Um, so if we scroll down a bit in the code, the first thing was I added a column for the edit URL. So after, this is line 75, after course, I added edit URL. And then um, I also added a no filter hidden filter. Um, because in this particular view, I don't want this URL visible, but I want it to be available in other awesome table views. So that's why I still want it to be populated, if that makes sense. So. We, we want the data, but in this particular view, we don't want it to be visible. So that's why it's hidden. But we will use this data when it comes to like the timelines. And this is how teachers are able to edit their own timelines. So in addition to adding the column, we need to go down to about line 146. You'll need to increase the range to include column X or wherever that column is uh, in your Google Sheet. Okay? Because this is the column, this is the part of the code that actually sets these array formulas. Okay? And then before you leave this, you do have to put in that final array formula that pulls the data from the autocrat sheet into the file cabinet. So 
once that's all in place, you'll be able to use uh, that URL in another awesome table view, for example, this one. So all this button is is a link to the form, uh, the template request form, to be able to edit uh, what's uh, edit the date or the course or the name of the unit. So I can go in if I need to change the dates of this Poesia unit. I can go to change dates. It takes me back to this original form. I can change the dates now to maybe September 7th to September 14th. Just a small change. Submit. But doing that changes it in the autocrat sheet, which when pulled over to the file cabinet is also changed. So I hope this concepts, uh, these concepts make sense to you. Um, but it also demonstrates that um, you're not bound by the fields that are given to you in that file cabinet view. Uh, you can create your own in other Google Sheets and import them into your file cabinet view. So you're, you're not limited into what you could by what you can display. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. I will post the edit URL uh, uh, code in the comments and um, you can work from there. Thanks for watching. Bye.